our people, so-called black, Latino, Native Americans, got to take heed, man. And really, you're getting the answers on, on the righteous way to walk, man, the righteous way to live. Because man's going up the Lord, like it says in Proverbs 20, 24. So the fact y'all even came by, man, y'all been here for, what, an hour, over an hour now, man? You see what I mean? All praises to the Most High, because you could be anywhere else right now, man. But it's the Sabbath. We're supposed to walk holy and righteous, man. You learn some history about, you know, Christmas and all that stuff. Now you can't celebrate that no more. But what? You're supposed to keep the holy days of the Lord. So what is coming up, though, right? The Feast of Dedication. We got Hanukkah coming up. All right, the Passover is something that already passed, but we have holy days and feasts that we're supposed to follow through the Most High God. And Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, our Savior, he followed those days too, all right? Let me get that real quick. Leviticus 23. Yeah. This one. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Right. Even these are my feasts. Right. So these are the, in the laws and commandments that we are given, these are the holy feast days that we are to observe, okay? Not these wicked pagan traditions and customs that they put on our people in the society, all right? Uh -huh. We have holy days that we are supposed so to keep as followers of the minutes. Most High and okay. Christ. I sent you a text. Oh, God, God. <laughs> Verse 3. Six days okay, shall work be God. done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. What is today? It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. All right, so today is the Sabbath, all right? And I'm going to just end this last one. Go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 5. Because a day starts at evening. Once the night breaks, that's the beginning of the new day. All right, and in this wicked society, they'll say what? All right, midnight is the start of the new day. You just randomly make that up at a time that you believe is beneficial for your society to work and thrive. It doesn't make any sense. But the night is the start of that new day. So Friday night going into Saturday night, that is the Sabbath of the, of the Lord thy God. We're not supposed to do work. We're not supposed to cook, buy, and sell on that day, man. It's supposed to be a holy day to the Lord. If we're not out here teaching, trying to wake up our people to keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father, we should be resting, all right, and doing what the Lord's asking. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 5. And God called the day, so lucky. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And what? And the evening and the morning were the first day. So it's the Sabbath, all praises to the Most High God, Yahweh and His Son, Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And we out here to wake up our people, the so-called Black, Latino, Native American people, man. Come back to the commandments of the Lord, repent. Now I'm going to pass it to the, di mo the next dynamic speaker, man, the elder. So you all sitting around right now, man, hear this word that's being taught to you, man. Quote me a shot. Quote me a shot. So give it up for the young lion, man. Yeah. The young lions are doing beautiful, man. The young lions are doing beautiful, man. I can't, couldn't ask the most high for more diligent men, man. The young lions are doing beautiful. Your brothers are doing a hell of a work, hell of a job getting this work mm -hmm. done. All praise to you, how and your how is shy, okay? Come. Because listen, at the end of the day, we got to stand up for our nation, man. Oh. We got to stand up. You Negroes, uh, uh, we're going to pick right up where we left off on Wednesday. Oh. You Negroes sitting around, biting your teeth, gritting your teeth, biting your nails, waiting for to see who's going to win the election. Right. And that's not going to help you, man. That's not going to help you. You know what the election is? Let's get it, man. Oh. All right, let's get it. Let's get the front da daily news today. The election is a fraud, man. That's all it is, man. It's a big fraud, man. That's what it is. Look at that red devil up there, man. And the Daily News purposely got uh, Trump red as hell like that, man. Look how red they got him. That's what, that's what the, 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 uh, the, the election is, man. Somebody give me Psalms 10 and 8. I believe it is. All right? Reincarnation of Esau. Yeah, reincarnation of Esau. And he was red all over. And with that, the Republican has to go. Yeah. All right, the Republican has to go. He was standing there so diligent and quiet. Until yeah. he found out his, 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 uh, his candidate is a fraud. You, you offended The him. whole goddamn system is a fraud. <laughs> right. All right, get the hell out of here. It's a fraud. Read what you got, brother. <laughs> Psalms 10, uh, start at 7. I got it. Oh, uh, Psalm, who got it? Read. Psalms 10 and 7. Read. The book of Psalms, 
chapter 10, verse 7. Go ahead. His mouth is full of cursing. The Lord said his mouth is full of cursing. Go ahead. And deceit. And deceit. Go ahead. And fraud. And what? And, and fraud. fraud. And what? And, and fraud. fraud. What does the front of this paper say? And, and fraud. fraud. The Lord said his <laughs> mouth is full of cursing, <laughs> deceit, and fraud. He's a fraud, he man. That's what it is. So now they saying Trump saying the election is a fraud. Yes, it is a fraud. All right, now tell us something we didn't know, Trump. This is all set up. The presidents are not elected, they're selected. All right, read again from the top. Psalms 10 and 7. The book of Psalms, chapter 10, verse 7. Go ahead. His mouth is full of cursing. The Lord said his mouth is full of cursing. Go ahead. And deceit. And deceit. Go ahead. And fraud. And his mouth is full of fraud, man. He's a fraud. So that's what the Lord is showing you. That's what America is letting you know. See, these papers play games, man. Right. Give me uh, some, give me uh, Psalm 64 and 8. These papers play games. They let you know what's really going on right subliminally. They put it in there. Listen, the election is a fraud, Dad. <laughs> you all you stupid people believe it. Got uh, 57 people got locked up rioting. What are you rioting for? Right. It's not even a winner yet. <laughs> but that's how simple the people are, man. What the hell are you riding about? Because it looked like Biden is winning. They said, listen, it looked like Biden is winning, but uh, Trump could come back because it's all a game. The world child's are sitting back smoking a damn cigar laughing at everybody. <laughs> they all laughing in a cave in damn Europe somewhere in the Caucasus Mountains laughing at the whole thing. All right, read what you got. Who got it? It's the book of Psalms, chapter 64 and verse 8. Go ahead. So they shall make their own tongue. They're going to make their own tongue. Come on. To fall upon themselves. They tell it on themselves. They let you know it's a fraud. <laughs> That's what they let you know. They know the election process is a damn fraud. That's what they let you know. Come on. All that see them. All that see them. Go ahead. Shall flee away. And you know what that means? See them meaning when you start to realize and see the white man for who he really is, you're going to flee away from him. You're going to say to yourself, I don't put my trust in the system. How are you going to put your trust in an election when there's two demons running for office? Huh. How are you going to do that? Why? Because you can be free. Because uh, a, uh, they said there's 140,000 new COVID cases in America, but yet everybody is partying and having a fun on a warm November night. So this spike in COVID cases, why is it not having everybody in the house? And how? Because it's BS, man. Right. When you go by the hospitals, they're empty. Right. But if you dare take your ass in there, they're going to kill you. Right. But you go by the hospitals, it's not people hanging out the window. There's so many COVID cases. We don't have enough room for patients. They're lying like hell. Right. Because their mouth is full of what? Fraud. Mm -hmm. And they're the red devils. That's a, that's a good picture right there, man. The Daily News, I couldn't have did no better myself, man. <laughs> they captured that red devil real good. Because they're fraud. <laughs> and they're telling on themselves. They're giving you subliminal messages. Let, let you know they're the children of lies and you can't see it because you sitting around biting your damn nails and gritting your teeth hoping Biden win and I ain't nothing but an old pedophile homosexual <laughs> demon man racist demon you niggas think you're gonna get something better though Three. <laughs> verse 9 and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God it said all men are gonna fear and declare the work of God you know why because all men are going to say, listen, they tried to tell us they was the devil. And now when they horns stick out, you're going to be in fear. Because when Satan comes down, he's going to come down with great wrath. Oh. So I said, all men are going to fear when you see this devil for who he really is. Because you trust in him because he put a suit on. Because he got blonde hair and blue eyes. You think that? You think his damn recessive genes is better? So the Lord said, what? He's going to make their own, own tongue fall upon themselves. They telling you they are damn red devil front. But you don't want to wake up, Israel. All you want to do is run around and turn up. The white man give you a little bit of breath, a little bit of warm day in November, a little unseasonably warm for the month of November, and you niggas act like a bunch. And it's a Friday too? Right. You niggas act like a bunch of goddamn fools, man. That, that Johnny Kemp just got paid spirit. Oh. Just got paid warm Friday night, mm -hmm. November. <laughs> I'm going to get out here. Biden going to be our new president. All the Democrats, him and Kamala going to make things better for us. You niggas are just as simple as you can be, man. But still hate each other. Right. You never stop hating each other. You never stop hating each other. And, and New York, every time I come back, even though this is my home city, I see how disgusting you niggas are here, man. You rude. You're proud. 
All you black and Latino men, you got to stare each other down like you the hardest nigga in the hood, but you scared the death of the damn white man? Uh. That rude, nasty, dirty, egotistical spirit in New York, man. That's why the Lord gonna burn this place the hell up. Oh, that's and that's why your ass was dying oh, earlier this year from out, that COVID. Oh, the most I whooped New York ass with that COVID. Yeah, damn, you was going in there for a cough and it was killing your ass. Because you proud and evil as hell in this city. Go ahead. What they shall wisely consider of his doings. The Lord said you gonna wisely consider of his doings in that day. You gonna see the white man for the fraud that he is. And you niggas gonna say all that self hatred, all that gang banging, all that Molly, ecstasy, weed, coke, Percocet, all that you was doing, rapping about killing each other, you gonna see that it was worthless. Because the so called white man, he's still been your enemy the whole time. We saw Sin and Seven again. The book of Psalms, chapter 10, verse 7. Go ahead. His mouth is full of cursing. His mouth is full of cursing. Go ahead. And deceit. And deceit. Go ahead. And fraud. And what? And, and fraud. fraud. White man's a big what? Fraud. fraud. He's a big fraud, man. There you go. You can't make this up, man. You can, I, I don't work for the Daily News. I just woke up this morning to run my errands, and I said, hey, let me grab me a paper. And I turned and looked. I said, bow. I said, most times I was going to the damn store to get my coffee, my, I mean, my tea or whatever for the morning, get my day started. I said, oh, let me grab me a paper. Bow, fraud. <laughs> See, I said, oh, I'm going right with this one today. Today is a camp day too. You done messed up now, Esau. You done messed up because that's what the scriptures say about you. Give me John 844. Give me St. John 844. All you Negroes and Negrettes and Hispanics and Native Americans that think that Biden and Kamala, they said uh, uh, Biden got 264 and uh, Trump got 214. Said all Biden need is six more points. 270 on the Electoral College and he's the new president. The new president of pedophilia. Right. That's what the hell he is. The new president of calling you niggas monkeys. The new president of making Kamala the new bedwinch of the White House. <laughs> That's why she's going to be the new can. Can I please her for a price? Eve is like All a right? little roach on a leg. Yeah, leg. man, yeah, like a roach on a leg. She's going to be the new Candeliza Rice. Remember Candeliza <laughs> oh Rice? Oh my God. Right, the, 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 the little uh, bedwinch for Bush. Little bushy bedwinch. Right, yeah. They, uh, 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 Candeliza Rice, she been down with the program. From way back then, her father was in the oil business with the Bushes. That's the only reason why she got uh, Secretary of State out. That was her flattering title. So she gonna be the new bet winch in the White House. Kamala gonna be the new damn bet winch. That's all it's gonna be. All right, I was I was hoping for Trump to come back in, but either way, <laughs> it's gonna be the program of the Most High. I was hoping for Trump, man, because that's an honest devil. <laughs> that devil tell it like it is, but maybe the wrong child said, hey, you didn't follow the coronavirus like we wanted you to, so you're getting out. <laughs> Sleepy Joe and Kamala. <laughs> Sleepy Joe and Kamala, they went along with the program. Because you know, see, Trump, he had all the people at his rallies. Right. He was dancing to YMCA. That man didn't give a damn. Kamala and Joe was being all careful, social distancing. We're not going to have too many people at our rallies. You got to separate and spread out. No, 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 everybody stay home and watch us live. Trump said, I don't give a damn, we're going to have a party. We're going to have a Republican party. And you, when you really check it out, he was exposing this corona thing, man. So the Rothschilds and Bill Gates party said, come on, this guy is not playing ball, man. Sit him down somewhere. Maybe Sleepy Joe would be a better candidate for us. But either way, the most high got the last laugh.